Yeah. I mean, look, the Lakers are last in the NBA in, in three-point percentage, right? Lonzo's shooting 27% in three-pointers. So and I think there's something going on here where, like, he's like, you know, I'm not making them. So maybe I should just stop taking them and let other people do that. I'm not so concerned about the three-point shooting. That'll probably come later on mm -hmm. in his career when he adjusts his shot a little bit. What I'm concerned about is his lack of uh, energy and just really being on attack mode at times. It's like he goes through the motions in a lot of these games. Yeah, he is being too passive. A lot of times he gets the outlet and just pass the ball just up. Wandering to the guy around in that yeah, spot like, shadow. That's actually you know, this, not on the court. But. I, I, this is alarming <laughs> to me because I, I know this yeah. is you know only two or three weeks into the season. Mm -hmm. But if I'm a free agent and I'm watching this and, and possible this could be a destination for me next year, I don't want to play with somebody like this really? that has this type of energy. Not at all because it's, this is not, uh, it, it, it's not exciting to me. See, because I, th I feel like when I watch him, he wants to be aggressive. He wants to be that guy. But when you're not making your shot, like, you as a scorer are going to think to yourself, I'm still the best option. Shoot or shoot, keep, keep putting him up. But when you're shooting 32% on the year in field goals, okay, so 27% for three, 32% overall. Like, if they're not going in, at some point you have to say, like, I got to get the ball to somebody else. Yes, but you know how you change that, though, Rona? Because he doesn't shoot the, well, the ball well from mm -hmm. the outside, you have to be in attack mode and get to the free throw line. You that changed everything.